Hey you guys, so ignore, you know, this is my little girl time when I do my little facial and my mouth care. Um, currently I'm about uh, six weeks since I have got my braces. Um, I did see a change in my bottom gap. Um, I don't see significant changes. What I do see though is they're not as crooked because I didn't just have gaps. These bottom teeth, the one, this one, was turned outside in or inside out, however, but it was turned this way instead of being straight. So that went in halfway from the before and after pictures that I saw on the thing or whatever it's called. Anyway, um, my next appointment is in a week. And I'm excited because I can't wait for them to snatch me. It's going to hurt. And I'm being pain for a while, but I don't even care. They need to snatch me so my gap can close. Hey, guys. I'm home now. And uh, whew, today was not fun. I think something I didn't go over in my first video is cost, pricing, how they break it down, and all of this. First of all, <laughs> I, I am on insurance. I have insurance. So... You know, I guess it's different for people that do have insurance and who don't. However, they did break it down in both ways. And, you know, at the end of the day, braces is affordable if you have a proper job. Initially, when I went, you guys know I had that big ass gap. I still have that big ass gap. It's just not as big. When I went, the cost to close my gaps, because it was $3,500. Okay, flat out. However... Um, I had a whole list of other issues going on that they are going to need to fix over time as my teeth are closing in. So what they realize is I'm going to need veneers, two veneers. On here on my fang teeth, you see this little teeth back here? And over uh, here, I need two veneers. I'm also going to have to get surgery to get this piece of flappy thing this piece of gum that just won't go away and it's moving up on my teeth as well as this shark here in the middle we all have it but i guess when you have a gap they get bigger and push out more so they have to get that removed as well this right here so that's what's gonna happen during uh my treatment and when all of that included, it bumped it all the way up to $5,500. My total bill for the veneers, for them to get the surgery for this and this, um, and my braces over 18 months is $5,500. However, my payments monthly is $149. So, um, again, like I said, if you have a job, it's affordable. You know, someone in my case, if I didn't have insurance, I believe she told me I would be paying uh, 250 two something a month. It's like 100 more um, if I didn't have insurance. So, like I said, you know, if I knew that, you know, they broke it down like this, I probably would have been got it done because, you know, I always had a proper job. I always made decent money. So, you know, I could have been got it done. But, you know, when they when someone tell you a big number like that, you don't think, oh, my God. You know, when you hear it, you're like, oh, no, I can't do that. You know, so I think a lot of people get that confused and then they just like no i can't afford it i can't go get my teeth this is and that if you have a job if you have a job and you have leftover money after bills you can absolutely get braces so my payment is 149 monthly and but my total bill is 5500 dollars however you do need to put down a down payment my down payment was 200 dollars so, and again, like I said, I have insurance. I don't, I don't remember the down payment for someone who does not have the um, insurance. You might not have the issues I have. You know, everyone's different. That's why everyone needs to go for themselves. You can't listen to me and say, oh, damn, I can't afford 5,500. Yours might not cost that. It's people I know that their cost was $2,500 because their teeth weren't as bad. They had, might have a crook here and there and they don't have, need a long, um treatment i need a long treatment which is 18 months because of these huge gaps so it all depends on it's, it's case by case so today what i got done is they changed they changed my chains 
my power chain, my, no, not my power chains, the regular chains. They changed my chains as well as my rubber bands, and then they added power chains. When I first got my braces, I did not have power chains. I had just regular rubber bands. They had regular rubber bands there. And today they put power chains and they snatched. Y'all, they snatched me. Here and here. And I kid you not, when I got in the car, when I got in the car, this tooth right here, because it was still crooked. It, it ain't crooked no more, look. It ain't crooked no more. I left my house this morning with crooked teeth. <sighs> but like I said, I'm in pain right now. I, I, however, this has nothing to do with the art, the, the dentist. This is because I went so many years without being attentive to my teeth. I just now, like a year ago, being attentive to my teeth as far as like a, a professional is concerned. You know, me getting the power chain put on and them snatching me, <laughs> as I call it. Um, it just, it wasn't fun. But like I said, it's, it's not their fault. It's not their fault. They have to do what they have to do. Um, however, they were very accommodating. And as well as... Um, she did put a little uh, swab of, um, what do you call that? The pain glue, the pain pain gel. She did put it there to try to help me, but it's nothing they could really do. Like I said, it's, it's not on them. It's because my, my teeth were not kept. They were unkept for many, many years. I'm looking forward to seeing what my mouth looked like in five weeks. Remember I told you guys I need veneers? I thought as well as I'm, I'm thinking they thought I would not need to do the veneers until like halfway or at the end of my treatment. Baby girl. Apparently the braces are really moving and now I have to get it done in five weeks. So that's like real soon. It's crazy. It's so crazy. That's like recent five weeks I'm getting the veneers as well as this gummy thing taking off. So that would be the first, uh, I'm calling it surgery because they got to cut it. Surgery. And then um, later on, they're going to move on to the thing in the middle. So I'm looking forward to that because I, I like y'all. I just want to get it all done and over with and move on with my life. Move on to the next thing, you know? And I hope you guys are enjoying my updates. I hope they're not boring. I hope they're informative. Um, yes, I am in pain. But like I said, because of my own negligence i don't think braces are painful in my opinion i do not think they're painful so i hope you guys enjoyed this re this video um comment let me know what you think let me know if you have any more questions and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye